so I started my career as a hardware engineer actually. So uh, it's been like two and a half years with hardware. So where we used to set up uh, infrastructure, hardware infrastructure, servicing laptops, systems, and then uh, mobile phones and all those things, right? And then um, I got into Amazon. I was working with uh, Amazon Kindle devices, Fire Phone, Fire Tablets, Alexa, all those devices. I was uh, for six years with Amazon and I moved to Verizon. So for the past three years and two months I was with Verizon working on AI and emerging technologies. Um, that's all about my professional experience. So the talk here is about AI practices at Verizon. So what do we do with respect to AI in Verizon? Chatbots, natural language understanding, and what are the state of the art models available with respect to NLP area, right? And what are the research papers? How do we use that information for benefit of our customers? That's the talk about. The key takeaways from this talk is basically use advanced technologies that is available today as a open source for the benefit of our customers. For example, whatever discovered a month before as a state of art results is absolute today because there is something new has come up today. And we have to keep up to date ourselves and use that solutions for the benefit of our customers and the organization. So developer has to follow the key coding practices especially because most of the things that I observe is basically the maintainability and uh, rework on the code that a developer has written with respect to machine learning. They have to look at optimized way of writing code when they write at the starting itself. right? So there shouldn't be any post optimization problems should arise and then understanding, understandability of the code is also one important factor they have to consider while writing itself. Say with respect to Python, right? So they have to follow all the PEP styling guidelines, which helps us to have like better readability and uh, better coding practices and styling guidelines. So we work on um, deep NLP in Verizon and emerging technologies like blockchain, augmented mixed reality, and brainwave based, uh, based uh, machine learning related stuff. So all those existing stuffs we are working at Verizon. So these kind of conferences, especially the MLDS 2020, helps the developers to conclude at a single place and share their experiences and best practices. That actually serves as a single platform for all the developers to together learn and together provide a better experience for the customers. Especially with respect to my team, I encourage my women employees to participate in these uh, forums and encourage to work on advanced technologies and mentor them. Especially this is also something that mentors has to do and take care, right? To have a balanced workforce and female participation as well. In fact, one of my team members was presented here and she is a female. So obviously diversification, one thing right, psychologically women employees are better doing multitasking, right? So that's the outcome of uh, researchers who psychiatrists and all those things, right? So I think they can do a better job than men when they are getting into this particular field. Also the diversity is also a very important factor. Right now it is like more or less focused on men and we should have a balanced uh, workforce over that. That helps the organization as well as uh, I mean, focuses on diversity. The big trends is especially the mixed reality and holographic uh, presence in um, different locations. Say for example, uh, if you would have watched the Microsoft HoloLens 2 demo, right? So the person can be physically present in United States and their holographic image will be projected in Japan and they talk in English and it is in real time it is being translated to Japanese and being presented by the holographic image in Japan. So that is something that is exciting and advanced artificial intelligence capabilities in future. It reduces the dependency on traveling and all those things, right? So it, it is like very much comfortable. You can be in anywhere in the world and present anywhere in the world as you are there actually. 
it's an awesome experience actually i got to know like meet a lot of uh, presenters researchers and it, it it is a learning for me as well right so so meeting experts and learning their best practices and getting that contacts is something that very important actually so that we can have that uh, continued conversations and together we can learn